May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. So the point I'm raising my brothers and sisters is sometimes you will have to adjust your dream regarding the type of person that you want your child to marry. It is their choice. You can guide them. You will try with them. But believe me, you have to somehow give in at some stage. If it is a person whom you may not have considered ideal because sometimes the other option is something which is even worse than what you are disagreeing with. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. I know of many parents who refuse their daughters to get married to people they want to marry foolishly. Allow your daughter to make the mistake and to come back divorced being your daughter so happy with you and you will be able to guide her with love. My daughter, didn't I tell you anyway? Now you made the mistake. You have come home. We still love you. We embrace you and we still recognize you as our daughter. But it would have been better if you did not make the mistake. She will say, Dad, I love you forever for standing by me and for looking after me instead of saying never ever. And she becomes a person who, who is an eyesore for you. She becomes depressed because today people become depressed when they cannot marry whom they want to marry and it's our fault we sent them to the schools we sent them to the various mixed type of educations we did this we did that we had a place in the mall where we were every week we did not dress them appropriately when they were young so as they grew up they did not want the appropriate dress we are the ones who who placed them in front of the televisions and we subscribe to the dirtiest of the internet channels or satellite channels and so on and then we expect our daughters to still have a good islamic choice of a spouse who is the hypocrite father of the home big hypocrite may allah protect us why where are you what did you allow your daughter to do all along so my brothers and sisters it's not fair do you know that when a child is born, Allah gives you almost 100% control over that child. You dress the child, you name the child, you decide when to bath the child, what the child will eat. All control. Don't say I don't have control over my child. Allah said I gave you full control when the child was born. That's the time you did not dress the child properly. You never read your own salah. You, there was no Quran ever played. There was nothing. And slowly, slowly as the child grows up one by one, Allah takes away the control of elements from you regarding that particular child. So when a child is a little baby, you can give the child a rattle, a rattle worth one rupee and it will shake the rattle and smile and laugh with you. Let the child become five years old. Give them the rattle. They will throw it back at your face. Dad, are you playing a fool with me? I need an iPhone. <laughs> so at a certain stage, you had control over the child. What did you do when you had control over your child? Did you guide the child? This is why I say speak to the child earlier because today we are losing control earlier. You can dress your child how you want when the child is two years, three years, even if the clothing is torn. Let the child get to eight years, nine years. Dad, I'm not wearing these shoes. Why? You make me look like one of those people living in the 1960s. Dad, I need the latest, you know, this Nike Air where you, you walk, it bounces, you know. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, grant us goodness and ease. My brothers and sisters, don't blame Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our failure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success. So this is why I say, sometimes we need to adjust. The reason is, how can we allow or how can we faci facilitate for our children to live happily ever after when we did not let them marry the person they wanted we made them marry someone they did not want now obviously i'm talking of something which is not the ideal ideally ideally islamically we need to speak about what should be happening the parents of the girls and the brothers or the relatives should keep an eye when they see potential husbands for their daughters or their sisters and so on they should approach the gentleman or his family or they should speak to their daughter about it we have so and so we are trying to you identify you speak to them you let the two meet within the limits of the sharia and if they would like to take it further you take it further it's your responsibility as a male that is ideal and if this daughter says no i'm not too happy don't be angry no pressure my sister you have the right it is haram in islam to force your daughter to marry whom you want when she does not want totally forbidden it is a major sin in fact you cannot do that it is her choice she can say no at the time of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam also there were those who said no i don't want to marry this man and they were not forced to it may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness